Hello again, everybody. This is Rocket Rick J18. And today I want to respond to a uh, VR request from Darren at Return to Collecting. And Darren wants us to shout out uh, at least three uh, content uh, creators, YouTubers, who have less than 300 subs. And uh, also, he wants us to identify one or more, I suppose, cards uh, that are not grail cards, but cards that we think we might have a good chance of acquiring during the next 18 months or so. And he gave the example of a uh, green portrait Ty Cobb T06 card. That he, that's the card that he wants to try to get and believes that he has a good chance of it. So, uh, Darren, I have uh, identified several uh, several uh, content creators, uh, YouTubers, who have uh, less than 300 subs and several that have less than 200 subs. So what I would like to do is identify the four uh, YouTubers that uh, I have uh, that I watch regularly and who have less than 200 subs. And they are uh, Warren D in CLE, uh, Warren has 186 subs and has been uh, at this for uh, a little less than a year. Uh, the next is uh, Video Guy 316, uh, Doug, and he has 185 subs, and he has not been at this uh, for terribly long either. One is a is a guy I I just can't imagine. Uh, doesn't have more subs, and I think it must just be because he doesn't want more subs, or maybe uh, because he's got a great channel. And uh, I think I could certainly recommend that everybody take a look at uh, at TJ uh, underscore is underscore online, uh, and Tony has 116 subs. So. Uh, uh, and finally, uh, there's Steven at RipFan8 uh, with 177 subs, and he's sometimes also known as Steven with a PH. So these are all guys that uh, we really ought to try to get up over 200 in very short order, and then, then uh, on to 300. Um, so uh, they all have wonderful channels. I watch them all. And uh, they're, I, they seem to be pretty popular, so uh, maybe uh, just make an extra effort to make sure you're subscribed uh, to these guys. Uh, the next uh, three, let's see, one, two, three, next four channels uh, have over 200 subs, and they are in no particular order. Uh, the Card Story 5800, and Matt has 282 subs. Uh, Rude Dog 21, and Mark has 211 subs. And he just uh, recently made a video uh, for the first time in a number of months, and uh, uh, I think that uh, it, 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 he's still still interested in making videos, and we we got to support that. And he has a good channel. He has a very good channel, uh, terrific channel. Uh, the next uh, is Craig's Cards sixty two, and Pastor Craig has two hundred ninety one subs. And finally, uh, Mike the Sports History Collect, C O L L E C, nineteen forty seven has 282 subs. Now, three of these guys are right on the cusp of 300, and there's no reason in the world why we can't get uh, 
nine or 18 subs uh, in short order to get them over 300. And then uh, uh, Mark has uh, 211, so he's got a little ways to go. But again, no reason why that can't be done in pretty short order. So those are the, the shout outs that I have. Eight wonderful channels, less than 300 subs, and certainly deserving of a, of a bigger following than they have. Um, so uh, on to uh, cards uh, that I would like to collect uh, in the next 18 months. And, and again, not in any particular order. They are uh, the 1940 play ball. Uh, Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams cards. They're cards number one and cards number 27 in that set, and I'm working on that set, so that's the reason why I'm interested in getting those. Uh, they are, are certainly key cards uh, in that set, and they're, they, they occur early in the set, so my, my general strategy is to, you know, start with card one and go through whatever the last card is, uh, in this case, 240. And uh, so I need those cards. I need others, and some are probably big cards, too. Certainly the Joe Jackson is, but, you know, that's down the road probably outside of the 18-month uh, time parameter. And then the, the fourth one, uh, or the third one is a 1941 Ted Williams. I already have the 1941 Joe DiMaggio in a uh, uh, authentic altered uh, with evidence of trimming, but uh, that's okay. And uh, important thing is to have an example of the card, even if it's not a very good example. Uh, and the, the last one is a 1952 Topps Jackie Robinson. So any or all of those cards would be lovely to get in the next 18 months. Uh, and uh, the play ball cards are definitely doable. The Jackie is a more expensive card, but um, maybe something that I can look at uh, at the next national or possibly even the... Uh, uh, Strongsville show next April. So those are the cards that I'm interested in. Again, these are all sets that I'm currently working on. Uh, probably mostly the 52 top set. Uh, and uh, uh, But also the uh, 1940 play ball set. I'm really focusing on the 41 play ball set is just whenever an opportunity occurs to to get a, a nice card. And, of course, the Ted Williams and the Joe DiMaggio are key cards in that set. So that's what I have for you today. And uh, thanks to thank you, uh, Warren, for uh, sponsoring this context, contest. Um, I would be very happy to win uh, the T206 Christy Mathewson with the white cap to go along with my recently acquired T206 Christy Mathewson in a dark cap. So probably needs a, a mate, you know, so that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, so uh, anyway, as uh, your card collecting journey goes along, this is Rocket Rick J18. Wishing that all your collecting dreams come true.